Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, if you've been following along, we're doing some more organizing. This time, the kitchen. I bought some supplies, and I think I might have ordered too many. <laughs> Not sure, but I wanted to be safe and sorry, and whatever I don't use or can't find a use for, I will return, but this is everything I bought. I bought some from Amazon. Amazon, uh, the home edit is from like the Walmart collection. Um, and I really wanna focus on a couple different parts of the kitchen, specifically these two, because everything else, like our dress, our drawers and um, these are all organized. This one's organized, this one's organized. This one needs a little bit of help. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's mostly these under the sink. And then this one, um, it's just storing stuff. And then this one for our extra tea and coffee. So that's what we're doing. You know what we gotta do? We gotta take everything out. Oh wait, let me show you what the bottoms look like too. So this is what the bottom looks like. We have a water filtration system, so it takes up a lot of space. And then this one is what really like <laughs> drives me a little bit nuts um so yeah let's let's start doing this already taking a break and eating our wedding cake because well cake but while we were eating cake i was trying to figure out if this would fit here like it did in my head well it doesn't so that's going back. I gotta find a more um, not so wide one, I guess. So that dress dresser, <laughs> that drawer is gonna have to wait. So now we're just gonna do the bottom of the sink and the other one. So let's do that. But first let's finish eating cake. Okay, so weirdly enough, this was the drawer cabinet that I was most excited about and it didn't do that much for me because we have that water filtration system and there's just not enough room but what i ended up doing is i added those stackable containers from amazon and i just put our most used items there like our sponges dishwashing detergent and the brillo pads and then i'll tell you what's going on in the next clip okay so this part is you know not super satisfying because it's just these little guys right here i put the sponges and the extra um whatever these are called, right here. Then I put the other ones, with, if you know, you know. And then our um, little pods for our dishwasher right here. And then we put our trash cans right here. And then we're gonna put the paper towel, we're gonna put it right here. But Taz is saying that the screws might um, puncture the doors so we're gonna might might do another one or might get another one so that's why that is just there um, we're going to tackle this side now and see if there's anything that we need to bring over to this side so enter time lapse here okay this one's so satisfying I started with just cleaning everything out and emptying the whole cabinet and then just cleaned it and then I was just playing Tetris with like a bunch of items seeing if it worked uh, the lazy susan came in so clutch i just uh, married a lot of the products together because i had doubles and then i started putting everything back and i am obsessed how this came out all right this is finished we ended up using this for all the swifter swiffer stuff which we have we just never use because i can never see it so i'm like i like that we can now see it and it's visible um this is our most used cleaning products like Folex, Windex, all that good stuff. These are antibacterial wipes. These are Lysol disinfectant spray. This is all like dog cleaning stuff, either pet odor stuff or like stain remover. Back there we have stuff that is just kind of an overflow that we have extra of. And then this is the Swiffer for like the wet mopping cloth that we can't, I can't transfer that to a different um, plastic container because we don't want it to dry out. Everything else that was in there is right here. And this is all dog stuff. Like, I don't even know. Like, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff. And we're just going to put this in the garage. Okay, next up is... <laughs> Sorry, this is a disaster. Um, 
just random stuff. We have a cooler, a toaster, a pasta maker, candles. Let's just take everything out and figure this out. I was kind of like annoyed with this cabinet, but I took everything out and like I said, we just started from square one. I took everything out, cleaned it out. It, this was kind of like our storage, like our every, everything just goes in there. Um, and we ended up just using it for like our, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Appliances. Um, we have a pasta maker, our coffee machine, uh, toaster, blender, all of these things that we're kind of all scattered throughout the kitchen and now it has a nice place for everything to go to and I just love it so much. All right, here we are. It doesn't look as aesthetic as I would have hoped, but we were able to grab some other appliances from a different drawer or cabinet and make it work here. So we've got our Ninja, my mom's coffee maker, our uh, toaster, more coffee stuff, our pasta maker, juicer back there, um, and it works. Now we just gotta find well, I know this is going to go in the garage or a different closet. And then this is just like our cooler bags, which we can find a place for. So this one is done. So we made some moves. Yeah. Sorry, we, here, we didn't film it. Down here, we did have a juicer in the back. Which you saw on the other yes, cabinet. Yes, juicer that we moved over into the cabinet. The uh, Blendtec blender that was on the top shelf here. That's also in the other cabinet. There was also a KitchenAid here that we moved to the pantry. floor of the pantry. And then all we're left here now is the Ninja air fryer yeah. thing. Um, we so moved Poopy's food here because her plate is right here. Watch more to make more sense, more flowy. And then we were thinking about leaving it empty for baby stuff. But then we were like, wait a minute, we have to kind of organize this. So, so we're gonna- we pull a lot of stuff from here, put it down below so this can be baby stuff right much easier accessible yeah and all of this stuff is like hosting stuff so like plates um <laughs> wedding flowers and um napkins stuff like that so yeah it's all we don't ever reach for this except when people are over which i mean it is pretty often but i mean i think we could we can afford use, to move yeah it down. yeah so let's do that I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but you know what's up. We start by taking everything out. It's much easier to start with a blank canvas than just to start moving things around. And I'm just finding places for things to go to. The bottom ended up working out so well. Like I said, this was our like hosting um, tools and platters and stuff. And since we don't reach for it all the time, it was just a perfect place to do it and opened up space for baby stuff. Next, we moved on to this cabinet over the refrigerator and it kind of became like our vase, vase, cabinet. I didn't realize how many vases we had until we put them all in this one organized space. And now I love it that we actually have a space for them and they're not all over the place. Okay, we are done. And that literally took us like, what, two hours, two and a half hours mm -hmm. maybe? Um, and I already feel much, much lighter. And I've already showed you what we've done, but I'm gonna go through it one more time, just kind of give you one last look at what we did. We'll start with this side. Can you pull the camera? Yes. Sorry. So we ended up completely emptying this out, which is what the goal was. We're gonna start putting baby stuff in once we start getting baby stuff, like bottles and bottles and bottles. <laughs> and then down here, we have um, our Ninja that we always use, and this is where we use it and then dog stuff, and then just hosting stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. And then we didn't touch that. That's our Tupperware container, it's all organized already. This one is very basic, just like dishwashing essentials and garbage bag. Our paper towel will be here somewhere. I just have to get a new one. This one I love. So we have our everything that's like our cleaning, um, all our Swiffer stuff on this end. Um, we have the Lazy Susan with all of our most used cleaning products, um, antibacterial wipes, uh, disinfectant spray, and then like carpet and dog spray. Um, back here is just like, can you see that? Oh, just like the overflow of stuff that we're not currently using that we could always use before buying new stuff. And then, over here is just more appliances. We've got our toaster, um, our food processor, our coffee grinder, pasta maker, and our blender. Oh, and our juicer. 
And that's all we did today, right? Oh no. And then this was kind of a last minute surprise. We just put all of our vases in there. And uh, yeah, I feel good about it. I feel really good about it. And like I said, I've been um, pregnant and we have a whole list going of what we want to organize and fix before baby gets here. So we can just check this off our list. This is the stuff I didn't end up using. Like I said, the tea maker, or not the tea maker, <laughs> the tea storage container is too thick. Um, so I have to get a new one. This one didn't work because the nail was gonna go through the door. And then these candles, <laughs> if you watch my vlogs, you know that these are the best smelling candles from Hobby Lobby, but I have all of them that are like this and I don't want them to go to waste. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to burn them, not burn them, um, what's it called? Melt them down. Melt them down and put them into one. And then this one, I just like this container and I'm gonna do the same thing, but clean it and then use it for, for something. So that's it. That's it. Am I in frame? What, am I, what are you doing? Babe! Meals over here. <laughs> okay, you want to want to show the poops? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're liking organizational videos, and make sure to subscribe because there's still more to organize. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like I just said. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.